So today, I had an interesting morning. I'm annoyed with our government, on our provincial government today. I don't know if you follow our news, uh, as insignificant as it might be, but our premier resigned on Monday, Sunday night. I can't remember when. It was just recent. Oh, cookies. Um, so he resigned, and instead of appointing someone else to step in in the interim before they have a leadership convention or election or whatever the hell it is that they do, he's just prorogued Queen's Park, which means nobody's working. You know what happens in a business when there's no work? And there's employees. The employees get laid off and they have to line up for employment insurance. Are our people going to be doing that? All of the politicians that should be in there working, taking care of the citizens of Ontario? No. What are they going to be doing? Working from their constitu constituency offices. So I called the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario to say, I think that someone should be appointed interim premier until the position can be properly filled and work can continue. And you know what they said to me? They said, oh, that's the issue of the premier's office. You have to call the premier. And I said to the guy that answered the phone, but it's the lieutenant governor who decides whether or not he's going to accept the application for proroguing Queen's Park. So I called our member of provincial parliament in Ontario, the one that represents my riding, and the person that I spoke to there was very sympathetic and understanding, of course, because they're fielding telephone calls like crazy right now. And she said, well, really, you know, maybe you should call the premier. And I said to her, we don't have one. That's the problem. Politics. Seriously. So as you know, I've been sick and I'm just recovering. Um, I'm in the process of taking antibiotics and somewhat I'm feeling better. And last week I got this in the mail from Myrtle Beach, which made my day. It was very nice. Those of you who went to South Tube 6, and I was sorry I couldn't make it, sent me this nice little card. Thank you very much. It was very nice to get. And I'm sorry, Melissa, I haven't responded to you. And Stacy, I owe you an answer too. Sorry. I just have not been online. I haven't been really on Facebook very much other than to maybe post, well, I haven't even posted pictures. And um, I haven't, I haven't been on YouTube either. But as I said, I'm starting to feel better and was upset with Beth's news of yesterday morning, this morning. I don't remember, but sorry for that, Beth. Um, my condolences to your family and to you and Scott. And it's always sad. What else have I been doing? I haven't been doing anything. I've read a little bit, but I get too tired. And Pat's been trying to... Um, do something with our scanner. Scanner's there, and we're trying to scan um, slides from the 60s and the 70s and the film, um, you know, the strips of film for pictures. But it's a long, enduring process, and I just don't have the patience or the energy for it. But I did find, and I will attach the picture at the end of today's Wednesday's remarks, 
um, of me on the camel. Those of you who know the story about how many camel I am worth. When I was in Morocco, I found a picture of me on the camel. It was a little bit exciting to find because it's been lost since the 70s. Anyway, um, I can't even promise that I'm going to be here quickly or soon or in the very near future. Um, we will we'll see. Uh, so this has not been a very nice vlog. I know it hasn't been upbeat or energetic or even clever. I'm upset with the politicians. They should be on the unemployment line as far as I'm concerned. They say it's going to take forever to get a new premier. And meanwhile, nothing is working. No one is working. I encourage all of those of you who are in Ontario and within the hearing radius of my voice to call your MPP or the office of the Premier because the Lieutenant General isn't going to do anything for you. That's it. That's all. Wait for the picture at the end.